Hey everybody, Daryl and Holly with Exquisite Exotics here. Last of the videos in the genetic series, I think. I don't think there's going to be any more after this one. So we're going to do some Punnett squares. Um, the first one we'll do was a request uh, that we had. So we'll do that one first. And then we'll do probably two more after it. And that'll wrap up the series. So if you have any questions after the series, make sure you put them down in those comments. All right, let's go ahead and get to the Punnett squares. Don't want this video to run too long. All right, so the first square we're going to do is the uh, request. So that was an Enchi clown to a lavender albino. Uh, an Enchi is a codom, clown is a recessive, and lavender albino is a recessive. It's just another form of albino. So we'll go ahead and put the Enchi clown up top. So what we want to look at is each gene one at a time, right? So Enchi, that is a codom. So if we remember, you have two options. If you breed Enchi to a normal, you're either going to get an Enchi, or you're going to get a normal. So we're going to put those two options up top. So the top will be our Enchi clown. Enchi and then normal, right? You want me to... Yes, okay. Enchi and then, yep. Okay. You put a line through as we go, we'll just add lines. Sounds like a plan. Okay. So clown, if you breed a visual clown to a normal, everything is going to be head clown, right? So everything that we have in here is going to end up being head clown. So put a small C next to the E and put a small C next to the N, okay? So those are our only two options that we're going to get out of this pairing. We're either going to get an Enchi head clown or a normal head clown. For our lavender albino, it's the same. It's a visual recessive. So if we breed this visual recessive to a normal, we only have one option, and that's to get hets. So we're going to put a little, a little L, we'll call it. So then put our lines, so, and then fill in everything. So you only have two options out of this pairing. You either get Enchi's that are double head for clown, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, double head for clown and lavender albino, or you get normals that are double head for clown and lavender albino. So a real simple one. Only really two options out of that pairing. So let's move on to uh, some more complicated ones. All right, we're gonna do that, another one. More complicated now. Uh, fire Orange Dream Pied by an Enchi Orange Dream Het Pied. So we have Codom, a Codom, a Recessive, Codom, Codom, Recessive, but Het for a Recessive. So our Fire Orange Dream Pied we're gonna put up top, and our Enchi Orange Dream Het Pied we're gonna put down the side. So, again, just start one gene at a time. Fire is a codom. If you breed it to a normal, you have two options. You either get a fire or you get a normal. So F or an N. Make space hollow between those, yep, because we're going to have lots of letters, okay? Uh -huh. Same thing. Orange dream. You either have, when you breed it to a normal, you either get an uh, orange dream or you'll get a normal. Now, we have multiple options of animals out here now. So we can't just add orange dream to fire and not to normal, or to normal and not to fire because that wouldn't be right. What we have to do is understand that when you take a gene that doubles your number of options, you have to double the number of animal combinations possible. So Fire Orange Dream gives you two options, right? It's going to give you either Orange Dreams or it's going to give you Normals. And that can apply to both of these that you already have. So what we want to do is anytime you see a codom, you're going to need to basically duplicate what you already have on your square. So we're going to put another F. Whoops. Trying to make it bigger. Okay. And we're going to put another N. Okay. Uh, Holly probably should have left more rooms between these letters, but... Um, so half of these are going to get Orange Dream and half of them aren't. So put Orange Dream next to that F, O-D, and Orange Dream next to that N, and then you can cross out the N because it's no longer normal if it's Orange Dream. So now we have three more options here, or four options, right? You can either get a Fire Orange Dream, you can get just an Orange Dream, you can get just a Fire, and you can get a Normal. Okay? Then a Visual Pied, if we breed that to a Normal, everything is going to be het pied so in this case everything gets het pied so we put a small p on all of them and put in your lines to try to make that look yep. a little clearer 
Hopefully my writing works out for you guys. Okay, so the hard one there is when you have a codon, because you get two options out of it, you have to double the number of boxes you have. Basically take whatever you already have written down and just duplicate it again and apply that codon to half the animals because when you breed a codon, half the animals get it. All right, then over here, we'll try to leave more space this time for okay. letters. Uh, we have the Enchi. So if you breed an Enchi to a normal, you can either get an E or you can get an N, right? Uh, we have the Orange Dream, so the same thing we did here. We have to duplicate our... Quick, we're not seeing it. Oh, we're outside the outside there of our borders. Go. There we go, Puppies. sorry. Okay, uh, and so go ahead. So Orange Dream, we do the same thing we did here. Because it's codon, we have to double our number of options, basically. So E and N again. And half of those get Orange Dream. Right? And then Het Pied. So... When you have a het, that means half of your animals are going to get the recessive gene and half aren't. So here again, if half of your animals get it, that means you have to double your number of options. So we need these exact same options down here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm writing and bending. We're uh, we're also outside of our our screen. Let's try to make it so you can see everything. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully you can still see it all. All right. Um, and then head pied. So half of them get pied. So do it up here. Small piece up here because you got a little more space there. All right. So and lines across. Finish all the lines. As you can see, this makes for one complicated Punnett square, but. If you try to simplify it, you can figure it out. All right, and now rather than what we did before, we had simple Punnett squares, we just write all the letters in. We're going to actually look at the boxes and write in what they are as we go, because sometimes it makes more sense to look at what you got. So, for example, this first box we have Enchi and we have Fire. We have orange dream twice, so that's going to be a super orange dream. And we have two copies of the recessive gene, so that's going to be a visual pied, right? And remember from our recessive thing, you have to have two copies to make it a visual. So that's going to be an inchy fire super orange dream pied. So an E, F, S, O, D, uppercase P. Enchi fire super orange dream pied. Moving on, okay? Orange Dream and Orange Dream. So we got Super Orange Dream. Mm -hmm. It's an Enchi. So it's an Enchi Super Orange Dream. Two copies of our recessive pied. So that's an Enchi Super Orange Dream pied. This is a Fire Enchi Orange Dream. Two copies of our recessive gene pied. So Fire Enchi Orange Dream pied. We know that the normal doesn't matter when you have um, other genes with it. So in this case, the normal is going to go away. Don't delete it up here because it's important mm -hmm. later. But that's going to be an Enchi orange dream, and it's going to be a visual pie. Again, we have two copies of the recessive gene. Okay. Moving on, we have a fire super orange dream pied. We'll try to help Polly make this a little quicker. Super Orange Dream Pied. Fire Orange Dream Pied. And then just an Orange Dream Pied. Okay, we have an Enchi Fire Orange Dream Pied. We have uh, our Orange Dream Enchi Pied. We have a Fire Enchi Pied. And we have an Enchi Pied. Okay? Now, look Look at, uh, well, well, we'll do this line one at a time. Remember, normal gets overwritten if you have any dreams. So that's going to be a Fire Orange Dream Pied. Still have both copies of the recessive here. That's going to be an Orange Dream Pied. That's going to be a Fire Pied. And that's just going to be a Pied. Straight Pied. Now, here's where we start creating some hats, right? So... We don't have pied, a second pied gene anymore down here. So this is going to be a fire, enchi, 
Super Orange Dream, Het Pied, so Little P. Yep, only one copy of it. Uh, over here we have a Enchi Super Orange Dream Pied. And then we should have a Fire, or Het, sorry, Het Pied. Uh, you're right, Holly. Fire, Enchi, Orange Dream, Het Pied. And then we have uh, an Enchi, Orange Dream, Het Pied. That's a little piece. Uh, moving on, we have a Fire Super Orange Dream Het Pied. And I'm going to just make Holly's life a little easier. If you notice, because the way we built this, right, these are the exact same as these, except for these have a pied gene and these do not. So basically you can duplicate all, of, all of these boxes, except mm -hmm. they're all Het Pieds. Wait a minute, i got to see where I'm at. Here, if you want to, rather than, so OD, you're here. Okay. You missed it, an S. Oh, you said OD, were here. <laughs> That's my bad. Okay, then, no, 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 well, okay, we can do that up and down. Let's go left, right to left, like okay. read. Is that a big P? Did I miss? That's a that's a big P. Okay, that looks like a D. It my, looks like a D. My but bad. It's all right. D's and P's. All right, and then finally, mm -hmm. red. And just a head pie. Head pie, little P. So, whew. as you can see, as you get bigger blocks, it gets way more complicated. Well, I don't want to call it complicated. Way more options that you produce. So because we're, you know, it's a three gene animal, the three gene animal we got here, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. 32. 32 different combinations of different animals you can get out of that pairing. Um, and half of them will be head pods, half of them are gonna be visual pods, which makes sense because what we talked about, you know, if you, if you just look at it basic, the basics, we talked about if you breed a pie to a head pied, half of them are going to come out pied and half of them are going to come out head pied. You have that here. You can see it visually in this block. Half of them come out visual pied and half of them come out head pied. But you have, even with all these gene combinations, this is why people talk about how, you know, you breed something, you may not hit what you're hoping for. You know, you could just get a normal head pied. That is an option, even with all these genetics in here. You could just get the normal het pied option. So, and if you're only getting maybe six eggs, it's going to take you a long time to hit all 32 of the combina combinations, even, you know, you know keeping averages in, in mind. So, just another big uh, group of genetics that, you know, hopefully, though, that makes a lot of sense to you. So, um, we're, I was going to do another block, but I think this block is a good example of how you build another block using codoms and recessives and het recessives so i think that's going to wrap this up so let's uh we'll come right back to you for closing thoughts all right so that's going to wrap it up on the genetic series if you do have questions please don't hesitate to either leave them in the comments or you can always reach out to us you know we have you know, our website you can email us you can use our contact form instagram facebook all the things um so if you ever you know have questions Please don't hesitate to reach out to us. I'm more than happy to help people, uh, especially beginners. Don't see, don't feel hesitant to ask people questions. I know it's it's hard. You want to look like you know everything from the beginning, but everybody started from somewhere, right? I am not an expert. I will I will fully. I've always said that if you if you think you're an expert, that means you feel like you have nothing else to learn. Um, and I always feel like I have something to learn. No, yeah, it's just my opinion on it, but. I have always feel like I have something else to learn no matter how good you get at something. I've done my current job that I'm at now for, uh, let's see. Well, the current job, like 14 years? Well, not even my current, but well, my career. My career, I've been in it for 20 years now. Um, and I did it all the way back in my sophomore year of high school too. I did the same thing. So I've been doing this for that long and I still wouldn't consider myself an expert. I consider myself advanced, right? Because if you're an expert, you have nothing else to learn. So anyway, um, <laughs> if you do have questions and you're a beginner, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, I am, I will, I know some people out there, especially on the internet, uh, you ask a question and then you get a whole bunch of responses that are like, what are you dumb? That's not the kind of person I am. 
asking, you never learn if you don't ask. So there's no, the only stupid question is the question you don't ask. Um, so anyway, just my opinion on questions and, and learning things. But it's way, true. Way it's too true. many people are afraid to not look like they don't know what they're doing, so then they don't ask, and then they never learn. So it's very true. Daryl is very much the science and math guy, and I'm very much English, <laughs> much more of an English person. So him teaching me this stuff, you know, I didn't know it in the beginning, like the Punnett squares and stuff. I wasn't. I, I remember kind of maybe doing it in school, yeah. but so. Yeah. Everybody can learn something at any time. And if you want to keep it private so people don't see it, just shoot it through our email system or send us a, a DM on Instagram. That way nobody even knows that you asked the question except for us. All right? So don't feel hesitant to ask. All right, I'm rambling. I don't okay. want the videos to be too long. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. Uh, we have some probably animal for sale videos coming up in the next mm -hmm. couple weeks-ish. Maybe next week. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Could be next week. Could be a couple weeks. But So keep an eye out for those. Um, it's going to be some holdback stuff probably, and then uh, a few animals we just never got listed from 2019 yeah. breedings up for sale. So um, I think that's it. Holly, anything um, else? Nope. I hope you enjoyed the series. Absolutely. <clears throat> hope you. I hope it helps. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye.